Hello, my name is Anne McGinty. I'm the town planner for the town of Tewksbury. In today's video, we are going to do a short overview of the site plan review that's outlined in the proposed zoning bylaw. These are the following areas that will be covered in today's video. What is being replaced, the overview of the site plan review and minor site plan review, how would it compare to today's zoning bylaw, and an explanation of the process. Please note today's video is not meant to be all-encompassing of the proposed zoning bylaw. Please be sure to read the proposed zoning bylaw along with the corresponding proposed zoning map for more information. So what is being replaced? The main section for the site plan review is in this um, proposed zoning bylaw in section 3.6 for site plan review. The site plan review is replacing the current bylaw for site plan review special permit, which is section 9400 in the current bylaw. Overall, what is the site plan review and minor site plan review in the proposed zoning bylaw? So the main purpose of the site plan review is to protect the public interest. The site plan review will be used to evaluate site plans for uses and structures that are permitted in the applicable zoning district and permitted uses as outlined in the table of use regulations in section 5.3 with the following criteria when it will be required instead of a minor site plan review. Please see section 3.6.2 for more information. So the following criteria is for site plan review. For new construction of, of any non-residential or multifamily structure or alterations of these types that is for more than 1,000 gross square feet, excluding one to two family structures or new construction or expansion of parking lots involving 10 or more parking spaces or any changes to the entrance or exit or the internal driveway. The proposed bylaw does, does allow for modifications to the site plan review through an application as stated in the requirements of section 3.6.6. Also in the proposed zoning bylaw, there is a minor site plan review. This is a, a town staff administrative review as outlined in section 3.6.5 of the proposed zoning bylaw. And this is for construction or alterations for the following instances. For instances where there is an alteration of exterior um, building for the following areas of 1,000 square feet or less. For, for example, for doors, awnings, railings, steps, handicap ramps, etc. For more details, please see section 3.6.2, section B. Or for instances where a redevelopment or alteration of 1,000 square feet or less would have an impact on trips, noise, site lighting, or other actions that may have an impact on abutting properties. So as a comparison of the current zoning bylaw to the proposed zoning bylaw, the, um, the town has put together a comparison document that's listed on the zoning bylaw committee webpage. And this can be located on the left-hand side in the, in the blue text, and that can be downloaded. Um, so how would this compare today and what's the overall process for approval? So the site plan is replacing, would replace the current zoning bylaw for section 9400, which is for site plan special permit. And one difference between the existing and the pro proposed is the site plan special permit is required to have approval by the planning board by public, by public hearing for any business, industrial, or institutional building, or enlarging any existing building by 800 square feet or more. Whereas by contrast, the proposed bylaw would be for 1,000 square feet, 
that would require a site plan review. And any alteration to a site plan special permit in the current process requires a modification by public hearing with the planning board. So moving on to the approval process. So section 3.6.4 of the proposed zoning bylaw provides the procedural requirements for site plan review as proposed in the proposed zoning bylaw. And this includes details on waiver request requirements and the planning board review criteria. An application would be submitted to the planning board for a public hearing as stated in this section. And for minor site plan review in the proposed zoning bylaw, this is covered in section 3.6.5 and it outlines the procedural process and application requirements. The main difference here is the minor site plan review is an internal staff review, which has the town designee um, may refer this to the planning board for review and approval with a public hearing and notice to the others. Also, an aggrieved person would have the ability to appeal this decision. By contrast today, if a property already has a special permit, the application for a minor change would be submitted as a non-substantial change determination application. And this is submitted to the planning board um, not as a public hearing item or with notice to others, but as an administrative item without an opportunity for public input as required in the case with public hearings. So moving forward, these are um, three important dates that we'd like the public to be aware of. The, um, the warrant article for the annual town meeting opened in January of 2021 this year and closes on February 19th. Also, the planning board has a tentative date of April 26th to hold a public hearing on the zoning, the proposed zoning bylaw. And finally, the annual town meeting is scheduled for May 5th of this year. So thank you for your attention on this topic. For a list of more resources on the proposed zoning bylaw, please see the town webpage that's listed here. And if you have any further questions, please reach out to the contact information listed here on this slide. Thank you.